Imagine this scenario. You have an exciting idea for an AI powered application, a groundbreaking technology that could change the lives of many. But there's a small catch. To train your AI model effectively, you require a vast amount of reliable label data. Now let's face it, obtaining high quality label data can be a daunting task as it requires endless hours of manual labor, a team of domain experts, complying to data privacy laws and costs that could make your jaw strong. So what's the possible way to overcome this scenario? That's where the importance of this topic comes in. Weekly supervised learning. This is Roshan Sarek Matthew and in this video, we'll explore the concept of weak supervised learning which helps you unleash the true potential of AI while conquering challenges that once stood in our way as well as explore the different types of weak supervised learning. By the end of this video, you will be equipped with the knowledge and tools to embrace the boundless opportunities that weekly supervised learning brings. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel and want to see more videos like this, please do leave a like and smash the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications to stay updated for more interesting content. Stay tuned. Now before we go in and explore our weekly supervised learning, let's look at one of the limitations of supervised learning that makes weekly supervised learning gain its popularity. We know that supervised learning is a rock solid method for machine learning, but its major downside is that it requires a vast amount of labeled data which often incurs a lot of time and budget. That is where weekly supervised learning begins to shine. Weekly supervised learning thrives in scenarios where data is noisy or when the annotations might not be perfect, but they are still valuable for training. From natural language processing to medical imaging, weekly supervised learning is helping us tackle real-world scenarios where fully annotated data is not readily available. These applications are just a glimpse of what weekly supervised learning can achieve in terms of AI exploration. Now let's discuss the different types of weekly supervised learning. Incomplete supervision, inexact supervision, and inaccurate or incorrect supervision. Let's start with the first type, incomplete supervision. To understand this concept, imagine that you have a vast ocean of data, but only a small fraction of it is labeled. This is ideally when you use incomplete supervision. This type of machine learning has only a small subset of data that is precisely and correctly labeled, which makes it usable for creating a supervised learning model. Incomplete supervision utilizes the power of active learning and semi-supervised learning to overcome the challenges of limited labeled data points. Active learning is a powerful, weekly supervised learning technique that intelligently selects the most informative samples from an unlabeled dataset and asks the human experts to annotate them. The primary goal of active learning is to choose which instances to label strategically, thereby minimizing the overall annotation cost and maximizing the model's performance with a limited amount of labeled data. Let me explain that in more detail so you get a better understanding of how active learning works. Initially, a machine learning model is trained using a small subset of the available labeled data. This model is then used as a starting point to identify the most valuable data points for further labeling. From the remaining portion of data, which remains largely unlabeled, active learning will select samples which are then used for annotation. Uncertainty sampling is one of the most common strategies used in active learning, which examines the unlabeled instances to rank them based on the uncertainty. Now, uncertainty is a measure of how confident the model is in its prediction for each instance. The model then chooses instances with the most uncertainty or the ones that are difficult to predict confidently. These are the most informative instances because labeling them is expected to significantly improve the model's performance. The selected instances are then sent to human experts for annotation or labeling. Since the number of instances are relatively small compared to the entire dataset, the entire process becomes more manageable and cost effective. The model is then retrained using the well expanded label dataset after newly annotated data is incorporated into the training set. This process iterates and the model continues to select and annotate more informative instances until the performance improves levels of or the desired accuracy is achieved. Semi supervised learning, on the other hand, harnesses the power of both labeled and unlabeled data which helps to come in the best of both worlds. Now let's look at the second type of weekly supervised learning, inexact supervision. 
In XX supervision, as a type of weekly supervised learning, invasive labels provided are not always precise and may be imprecise or may contain noise. Many real world scenarios make obtaining perfectly accurate labels difficult, if not impossible, due to factors such as human subjectivity, ambiguous data, or errors in the data collection process. In such cases, imperfect supervision comes to our aid, allowing us to make the best of imperfect labels. As an example, let's consider an AI training to identify emotions from text data. Now, some of the emotions can be easily identified from the text, whereas some emotions might be challenging to pinpoint as a sentence can contain multiple emotions. One common technique for dealing with imprecise labels is to use majority voting or consensus based approaches. Rather than relying on a single label, the model then considers majority votes or consensus among multiple instances. This aids in determining the dominant sentiment or class among a collection of data points. In some cases, inexact supervision may involve the use of soft labels or probabilistic labels rather than hard binary labels. Soft labels represent the degree of certainty that an instance belongs to a specific class. These probabilities allow for a more nuanced understanding of the data, which is specifically useful when the ground truth is not well defined. Now let's look at the third type of weekly supervised learning, incorrect or inaccurate supervision. This kind of weekly supervised learning technique is used when the provided data labels are incorrect or of low quality. This can happen due to human errors during the annotation process or when dealing with data collected from different sources. Obtaining perfectly accurate labels in many real-world scenarios can be difficult, especially when dealing with large-scale dataset or data obtained from external sources such as crowdsourcing. The goal of inaccuracy supervision is to address and mitigate the impact of incorrect labels in a training data. This also helps the model to be more robust and less sensitive to noisy data leading to a better generalization and model performance. And there you have it, the incredible world of weekly supervised learning unraveled before our very eyes. From the ingenious techniques of active learning, where we handpick the most informative samples, to the self-guided exploration of semi-supervised learning, we've discovered secrets to unlock AI's true potential. The impact of weekly supervised learning resonates across industries from healthcare to finance and from natural language processing to image recognition. The possibilities are just endless. Weekly supervised learning is a game changer, paving the way for AI to conquer new frontiers and thrive in uncharted territories. Make sure to follow me on my social media handles to stay updated for more interesting content. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button to the ANDS channel if you like this video. Make sure to follow for more. Thanks for watching.